I think that should be a challenge. Every time we say the name Extraction 2, we try to make up a subtitle for them. <laughs> you know? Extraction 2, Electric Boogaloo. Return of Rake. Before we get to Extraction 2. E- extra Extract. <laughs> I said when you say it. Jeff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, Extraction 1 is about Tyler Rake, the protagonist played by Chris Hemsworth, trying to save this kid, getting him out of a heavily armed city. Seemingly dies at the end of Extraction mm-hmm. 1, but you find out at the very last second he's alive. Uh, kind of a little you bit off. You see a hazy vision. You see a, a f- out of focus <laughs> Tyler Rake in the distance, and it's like, oh, maybe he's alive. And I'm now going to play a clip for you from our review of Extraction One, where we <laughs> speculated on the possibility of an Extraction sequel. Let's talk about the ending, guys. Do you think Chris Hemsworth survives? No. I think he did. No, what do you think? No. Yeah, I I wish the movie had actually, you know, wait, it didn't seri- need to do that. Are you serious, Jeff? You don't think he survives? No, I don't think. He, I mean, uh, I don't think it's setting up for a sequel, Extraction Two. No, I don't think so. I think I think the idea was that he died. Did you did, did yeah? Did you see did you the see very the last, last shot of the shot? film? Oh, it was the very last. Sh- I may may not have. <laughs> 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 Jeff Jeff likes to turn it off before Netflix says, yeah, "Do you want to skip yeah. to the next?" Yeah, show. I can't. So yeah, I have three away. seconds but, to make that decision. That idiot sounded wrong. <laughs> you actually made, went on to make that point multiple times that you did not think there was going to be a sequel. So that's actually a uh, cut I down version. I distinctly recall this. That's yes. a cut down version yes. of what you said. That would betray <laughs> the memory of Extraction <laughs> 1. <laughs> Just, okay. Well, the, my favorite thing about Extraction 2 is like, wow, how are they going to explain how he didn't die? Oh, <laughs> he didn't. Super the best way to watch this movie, by the way, gather a crowd of people who appreciate action movies because that is the best way to experience it. If only there was a place that you could go where people mm. already gather on their own to see this movies. movie should be in theaters if, if only there's a place where you yeah they be like moving images were projected cinemas. projected onto a massive screen and people potentially paid you for and entry. strangers could sit shoulder to shoulder all enjoying the same thing yeah. i feel like uh indiana jones when i watch some of these it's like it belongs in the theater <laughs> okay i will say at the beginning of this film i think they kind of earn the yes. end of the last movie which is yep. tyler reeks in a terrible state it looks like they body swapped Chris Hemsworth to make him look real skinny in this one. Uh, and then he he needs to like nurse himself back to health, retrain, have another whole montage before mm-hmm. he goes extracting again. He needs to my chop down some thing, trees. Yeah. My favorite thing in movies is when uh, the hero just decides to get better. Like, yeah. <laughs> he wills himself better. Like, you can do that with injuries. You've got an injury. I know. I'm never going to be the same. We have a new mission for you. Well, I guess I better be the same again. And I think this movie sets a really good tone for itself right from the top. Mm -hmm. When the title comes up and it says the word extraction, but it says extract to yun, but they use the I as a Roman numeral and one side of the O as a Roman numeral. Yeah, buddy. (laughs) Yeah. Extract to Because there's no rules. There's no rules when you're extracting. There's no rules. Let's talk about overall thoughts on extraction too. Uh, extracting all the way. Um, Devendra, what are your thoughts on this movie? My thoughts on Extraction 2, and that's Extraction with two X's, is that <laughs> is that this movie freaking rules. It is everything I genuinely wanted from the first one. I like the first one, but it had issues. I think like going for their really showy, long-take action cinematography doesn't feel as real as like when it's done uh, purposefully in some other movies. And I think this one finds a really good balance. It gets the character balance down, right? Um, it figures out hashtag family because of course, and I think every good action series, you got to get hashtag family down. Otherwise, you know, it, it's hard to care about anything. And um, no, I think, I think the action is fantastic. I think so much of this movie is great. Uh, that kid sucks. I wish there was less of the kid. I wish Poor so kid. much of the movie didn't hinge on the kid being an absolute moron, but the movie is so good that I, I was able to like excuse that away. Um, I did spend a big chunk of this movie also going like, they're going to kill the brown people. <laughs> when? Countdown until they kill the brown people. And uh, I I have concerns about that. But you know what? Uh, I think overall, like, this is a really fun movie. Most of the set pieces are good. They get a little silly when they get into, like, big crowds. And that's when it gets to, like, what I was talking about. I was talking about the show Bloodhound on Netflix. You could definitely see guys just running up to him, like, doing doing the steps for the choreography rather than him jumping into the fray and, like, being very, uh, you know, very organic about the fights. But they're really good. I, I really dug this movie. I could watch so many of these. Uh, shout out to Sam Hargrave for just improving on his second one. He also apparently just shot a BMW movie. Those are back. And I want to check that out now, too. That's eight minutes on uh, YouTube right now. Jeff Kanata. 
Your thoughts on Extract 2, Yen? <laughs> My thoughts on Extraction 2, Extraction Takes Manhattan, is <laughs> that I agree with Devendra on almost every point. This is, movie's a blast. A blast! Uh, I very much enjoyed it. He's the best Chris, right? We, we can all agree. He's the best Chris. I think I'm, Chris Pine I'm is a pine, the one universally I'm a pine man myself. Dude, beloved. Maybe, but, but yeah. he's, okay. He's I do dreamier, like him. dreamier than yeah. Pine. Mm. Can do the, can, uh, hunkier, beefier, does the action. The action in this is amazing. He's awesome in it. And can do comedy. I know Chris Pine can do comedy, but he can like do, fly, he, yeah. attractive. Chris Pine is everything but that, but not beefy, right? Like he, he's yes. different, but oh, he's, the best he's a good Chris. Chris. He he's is the best Chris. Chris. Anyway. My, he's my pick for Chris. Um, I had a great time with this movie. I think it peaks a little early. Um, there, you know, there is the extraction, such as it is. I think it's cool that they they do that in a wonder, right? The extraction mm-hmm. is a wonder. From the moment we start the extraction to the end of the extraction, one continuous, you know, yeah, so it's right, twenty one minutes long. Incredible, uh, and, it's, it's and made I love the, to seem as though it's one long continuous shot, yeah. although it's not. Yeah. Correct. And I do think that that is a cool idea that like the, the titular extraction here, we, we don't, we don't break away from it. It is, we're in it. And I thought that was so high octane, so cool. And the way it goes from just crazy thousands of extras, jailbreak brawl to, you know, car chase. That's amazing with motorcycles to train to like train. Literally, like that moment that I've played in every video game where you find the better weapon and then you go out and there's a helicopter <laughs> and you have to use the better weapon on the helicopter. Like, it's, it's in this like, movie. Yeah, he has Call played this Duty, map like, before. Like uh, yeah. Uncharted style yeah. so like, cool. action. Yeah. I mean, incredible. So much fun. The movie has another hour after that, which has some cool stuff, has some great action sequences, has a cool sequence on a you know tile, a tall high rise. That doesn't mean the movie isn't a blast. It's It's a blast. It's fun. I can't wait for more of these. Like the movie definitely hints that there will be more of these. I, I like, I'm in, this is a cool franchise. It feels like, you know, we sunsetted John wick. Let's sunrise some Tyler rake, dude. It's a great action movie. And I totally agree with Devendra. It should be seen on a big screen with great sound. Yeah. I saw it with my brother and his girlfriend. So at least we saw it on our projector and we had like a mini crowd and we cheered when we should have cheered. Cause even after that big opening scene, there are a lot of like nice, nice, really nice moment. There's a moment on like a sky roof, yeah, uh, like a glass roof thing that I yeah. think is really well done. So it's really smartly done little tidbits of action that I really enjoyed. We've seen the behind the scenes of how a lot of these winners are made where they have this, you know, camera on a gimbal and someone's holding it and they're running it and then they, they mm-hmm. hook it onto a car and the car yeah. drives away, you know, that stuff happens. But there's stuff in this movie that I like, is really difficult to even comprehend, even knowing all that. So my favorite moment is at some point during the big one or Tyler Rake gets hit in the back of the head with a brick. Yeah. And then it transitions to a chest strapped camera. Yeah. yeah. And then he Seamlessly. falls down and then he gets back up and then the chest strapped camera breaks away from him and goes and then, and then well, like the fight resumes. And that's it's like, clearly a visual effect shot because yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's com- two completely different cameras that have been mm-hmm. seamlessly right. meshed together. You can't, yeah. you can't have. A, you've seen Tyler Rake's body; he doesn't have a chest rig on him, so it doesn't. But it's just like wow, they're just showing different, off. A different size. I mean, the whole thing. Is, right. And I think that's a that happens a few times. Like there's one where it literally seamlessly transitions to a camera stuck to the side of a car, where mm-hmm. yeah. it's like. Yeah. You've seen that shot before. It's not somebody leaning out of a car. It's literally right. like attached to the fender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then exactly. we, we seamlessly transition into and out of it. Right. Cool ideas. Cool ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. Another moment I really applauded was when oh, Shifta. Yeah. yeah um, she is so good. Where she yeah. and like she's so awesome in this movie. Mm-hmm. She and this other bad guy are like passed out and sliding down a glass ah, yes. building. So cool. Yeah. And then he like he first of all takes out the dude he's with using a treadmill. Which then is awesome. Dives out the window and like shoots the glass underneath him and then grabs her arm. It's like this is like, beautiful. One of the most beautiful. badass things I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Um. But I agree with you, Jeff. The the urban warfare stuff doesn't top the one or I honestly think the last 25 minutes of this movie is completely unnecessary. Like, mm. there's this whole other act where he confronts, you know, it's Sandro's redemption. He confronts the dude. I, I literally thought when they, like, took off in the helicopter, I thought the movie's over. Like, I thought, like, <laughs> oh, the bad guy's dead. They're in the helicopter. But nope, bad guy's still alive. Got to deal yeah, with Sandro. That, that moment really pissed me off, too. Like, there, there are the, the kid pissed me off. And also... Bad guy's just laying there on the floor. Tyler Rake walks 
away. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> Kill There's a bunch of times where pile bunch of times where both sides do that. The other yeah. time where it's like, put your gun down, and she does like. Just shoot her then. What? What is stopping you? There's nothing stopping yeah. you from shooting yeah, him. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, that's movie logic. I, I thought one of my favorite reviews of this movie on Letterbox was if a if a child is strapping explosive devices to himself, you know, <laughs> that's the moment when you kind of like say goodbye to like, hey, I'm gonna look out for myself instead at this point. You know, like. <laughs> anyway, I was kind of hoping that the gimmick of these movies is that Tyler Rake dies at the end of all of them. I think that would I, I was because there's that moment where he's like, <laughs> yeah. he has the kid point the gun to his head. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Tyler Rake always dies at the end he's of his worry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, kid, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a clip from the film cast after dark. To get access to the whole episode, go to patreon.com slash film podcast. You can sign up for ad-free episodes as well as exclusive after darks. You can find the regular podcast at thefilmcast.com. And of course, like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.